Roslyn Memorial Park is located in the heart of downtown Anacortes, Washington, between M and N Avenues and 7th and 8th Street. It occupies one whole city block, about two acres in size. The city purchased the land in 1903 from the Great Northern Railroad for $500, so it long as it be called the Great Northern Park for at least 10 years. Causland Memorial Park is named after Harry Leon Causland. Mr. Causland was born on July 22, 1887, on his parents' farm on Greens Island, just north of Valdago Island, where the park is located. Mr. Causland died in World War I, October 22, 1918, after only four months of service. Mr. Causland sacrificed his life by voluntarily bringing bullets to his friends when they needed them, even though he knew he was risking his own life. Here is a quote from a letter his unit commander wrote to Harry's mother. The story of his heroic action meant the sacrifice of his own life and the saving of the lives of his comrades and checking the advance of the Germans. For his actions, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, the second highest decoration that can be awarded to a U.S. Army soldier. The park was designed and built by Jean-Baptiste LePage from 1919 through 1921. Mr. LePage was born in 1854. He was an artist and architect and applied for the job to design the park. He had become a designer of city parks after a failed attempt at wheat farming and earlier work as a university teacher, surveyor, and map maker. He was chosen after the city saw photos of a retaining wall he built in a park Butte, Montana in 1918 that also used thousands of stones in the mosaic style. The city thought his designs were more suitable and original. As you can see, there are many beautiful trees and plants around the mosaic structures, and they are com- colorful and welcoming all year round. The original estimate for Causa Memorial Park construction was $6,000, but the actual cost was $21,000, which is about $267,000 in today's money. The park is on the National Register of Historic Places and a portion of Causan Memorial Park is dedicated to local veterans. It was originally dedicated to Mr. Causan and the other 14 silent lunch men from Queens, Fodago, Sinclair, Decatur, and Cypress Island who lost their lives in World War I. Today it also recognizes local veterans who gave their lives in other wars up through the Vietnam War. The flagpole near the me- memorial was donated by the Anacortes Kiwanis Club and dedicated in 1996. The park is unique in its use of decorative rock and black and white mosaic for structures and walls. Long, wavy, colorful walls surround the park, and a bandstand, amphitheater, and gardens are similarly made of colorful pebble and rock mosaic. All the mosaics on the buildings and walls have scenes or pictures in them, but no one knows what story they're telling. All of the different types of rocks are from different local islands, and though we do not know exactly how many stones there are, we do know that each of the thousands of stones was placed by hand. Now we know why it took over two years to build! In conclusion, Causland Park is one of a kind, beautiful to go to, and fun to play in. You should check it out!